How do designers make bright and modern handbags using a patchwork technique? Basic is a child's cradle of nomadic people. What should a craftsman know about its production? You will learn everything about it in the program Art of Making. Among the household items, bags of various purposes were widely used among Kazakhs. Craftswomen made felt and fabric bags and decorated them with ornament made in the technique of application or corded kneading. Says the craftswoman Olympiada Jankusheva. People used to lead a nomadic lifestyle. They moved a lot. That's why bags were used very often. The bags were used for different purposes. Clothes and linen used to be transported in Dorba bags. Torjan type of bag was used to transport food and other household items. They were put on different sides. Kisya cup is a bag for dishes. Applique patterns and different ornaments used to be applied on the bags. Embroidery was also used. Craftswomen used to decorate bags with different items such as felt, fabric and leather. With the help of cloth patches and tailings, craftswomen made some kind of patterns and ornaments. Inspired by our traditions of nomads, Olympiada created her own brand. My goal was to bring the identity of Kazakh people into the harmony of modern world. To make Kazakh ornaments look more modern and apply them to the modern handbags. The craftswoman herself will tell us about the intricacies of the process of creating modern handbags. First, we need to choose a necessary fabric. If the fabrics you choose will fit and have a cohesive look, the more you will enjoy the bag in the future. Not properly selected fabric can spoil a bag, therefore we pay much attention to fabric selection. Then we focus on the contrast of fabrics. Bright piece of fabric was stitched to a fabric of a more soothing color. It always looks bright. The second step is choosing patterns. Because Kazakhs always gave a special meaning to their ornaments. If a pattern was applied on the neck piece, it wasn't supposed to be applied on shoes. We cut the ornament and create an applique. My grandmothers used to draw the patterns manually. Nowadays it's much easier. We download everything from the Internet. We put it on the fabric, outline it, cut it carefully, and apply it to the fabric. First we need to stitch it on manually. Then we stitch it around the contour using an applique ornament machine stitch. Every bag is made in one copy. Materials and fabrics are mostly of Kazakhstani production.
All necessary accessories are presented on the market of Kazakhstan. How we select it? Here, for example, in this case, the handbag is of a light color. So we would take the gold fittings. It always looks good. Moreover, our girls love everything that glitters. This is a leather fitting. It's all sewn manually. These half rings always fit to the color of the zippers. We need to sew the zipper down carefully to hide the stitches. For this purpose, we put the fitting here. Regarding the stitch, in order for the bag to be tied and not to lose its shape, we add a special fabric inside. It is called a backpack filler. Here it's clearly visible. It's very dense. That is, we have cotton on top, and here is a backpack filler. We apply one layer to another and make a stitch. It's called a sandwich stitch. As for the handles, for big bags I make them on my own. For this purpose I use backpack band. There is a hard band inside and there is also a cotton top with a decorative stitch. The patches which I collect are sewed with cotton thread. The stitch is done with special silk threads. They are called quilt threads. On this example, I would like to tell you how we make the bottom of the bag. We take the two upper ends, apply them to each other, find the middle. From its left and right, we measure 3 cm and up 3 cm. Carefully cut it out. It turns out like this. Here we will mark the line along which we sew. Just with a straight line, putting it fixed, we draw a straight line. This tip of the triangle will be cut off, and we get the bottom smooth and neat. A creative impulse of thought creates a good mood and is transmitted to everything that surrounds you. If you want to experience the joy of the work done, the feeling of satisfaction, pride in yourself, get down to needlework, says Anipiada Jankusheva. Making such kind of things is like a meditation. Sewing process helps your mind to calm down and find peace. I think Kazakh women of that old times used to be good craftswomen. That's why they were patient, calm and wise. Besik is a symbol of an endless life cycle. This valuable heritage created with love for the sweet dreams of the baby is carefully stored in the house and passed on from generation to generation. Masters for years studied the craft of making Besik, honed all the subtleties of the production process and continued the Asian tradition.
If earlier the cradle was made exclusively by hand, now it is being done on an industrial scale. We have a basic in our family that we keep as the apple of an eye, and it has been with us for more than half a century. It has a very interesting story. It all started when my father was born. Besik was ordered for him from the best artisans of the region. This Besik inspired my parents to start their production, improve it, make some adjustments. The Zhitvizbayos family was able to combine the long-standing traditions of the Kazakh people, the requirements of the rapidly changing modern world, and their great love for children in a unique project, the manufacture of basic transformers. If desired, you can purchase additional options that allow you to turn a basic into a cradle or a mini playpen. The process begins with the development of a sketch. The finished patterns are used to calculate the length, width and height of the basic. In painstaking work on the cradle, the choice of wood is very important. Most often, basic is made from easily bending types of wood. We use light pieces of wood, for instance birch. That's why our cradles are light and firm. After sewing the wood sheet into plates, they are dried. Then the main elements of the basic are bent to a semicircle with the help of a heating machine. Previously, the craftsman who made the cradle possessed unique equipment. They did not use nails or screws to assemble the product. Of course, the modern basic differs from its predecessors. But one thing remains unchanged, its design. Our colleague, the crossbar, which is attached to the upper part of the back and serves as a handle. Bugyan rounded planks, the backs of the cradle, and jaktao. These are boards that form the edge of the crib, serving as the basis for the bottom. Shabak traditionally consists of four wide transverse planks, and sabao are planks that are attached to the backs along the length of the cradle below the jaktao. They are necessary to support the cradle's belts. There is also jorha, arcuate slats, that are placed on the base of the backs and provide swinging of a basic. In our case, the design is very simple. The assembly consists of three main elements. First of all, we assemble arkalik, the length of which is 70-75 cm. The next step is the connection of two bent parts using an arkalik. They are called bogen. The third main element is the connection of the box with the existing structure. There is a special hole in the box, which is needed to place the two. The tools we need are bolts and a hexagon. In total, 12 bolts and 3 hexagons. This basic is made in the furniture workshop, but everyone can learn the technology of the assembly. It's not only easy to assemble the cradle for the newborn, but also it can be easily fit into a bag. As I said before, our basic is light and its weight is only 5 kilograms. 
A lightweight of the cradle is designed first of all for mothers, as she has to handle it on her own. Ready be sick after the workshop are sent to different parts of Kazakhstan. According to Kazakh custom, the cradle is given to a newborn by the relatives of a mother. They present as a gift all the accessories necessary for a comfortable sleep of a baby. Raising a child starts from a cradle. After a mother's womb, Besik becomes the first refuge of the baby. Craftswomen who work on the decoration of the cradle make real works of art, investing a piece of their soul in every Besik. The main components of the Besik are tagpa bao, knots, and shabu, bedspread. And to make the baby comfortable in the cradle, they sew mattress and five pillows. Each of them performs a specific function. Baby is put into the cradle without a diaper. Shumek and Tubek has a function of the diaper. They are designed specifically for basic. Basic kit includes a mattress that is made of cotton cloth. Inside fitting is made of pure cotton. On top of the mattress, we put beljastak, which is intended for lower back. The next pillow is a bashastak, intended for head. There is also a foot pillow, which corresponds to the size of the head pillow. There are also two pillows in the set of Besik. They are stacked so that the buttocks of the child do not fall into the tube. Tubek is the container into which children's feces are collected. Thanks to this design, baby always remains dry and clean. Velour and velvet are often used for cradle decoration. First, we need to choose a fabric. For Jassau, we picked velour and cotton as a background cloth. Filler is difficult for sewing. You have to fill it when you sew. The main thing is not to confuse the direction of the pile. When you put your hand in one direction, it will be smooth and on the other direction it will become a dark color. If you confuse the directions, let's say here I cut one half, there I cut the other half, and put, for example, in reverse, I have a fabric when I cover a basic, it turns out that one side is dark and the other is light. There are no ready-made sewing patterns for soft finishing of the cradle. The size of the baby's bed, linen depends on the size of the basic.
If you decide to make a pillow with your own hands, you'll need scissors, a sewing machine, measuring tape, chalk, and a little time. So how do you make a pillow with your own hands? Turn the fabric with underside and make measurements by marking the boundaries with chalk or marker. Cut out two rectangles and put them on each other with a back-to-back -back side to the outside. Stitch the three sides with a sewing machine. The fourth side needs to be sewed in half. Turn out the covering and fill the pillow with filler. Since velour can still irritate baby skin, and this purpose we made a double pillow. When you put your child to bed, you can use a cotton pillow. We sew on a hidden zipper here. You can't see it. It doesn't bother a baby. You can also wash it by simply removing the case. We use cotton for pillows filling because it's ecologically clean product. If desired, the item can be decorated with ribbon, embroidery or applications. We also sew on a bias tape. It's also called piping. It is needed for decoration. The baby is insured against falling out of the cradle with the help of belts, tartbabao. One belt fixes the upper part of the baby and the other the lower part, in the area of knees. And in order to protect a newborn from insects in summer and in winter from cold, Besik is closed with a cover decorated with embroidery, jabu. Each pattern has its philosophy, and the Besik has a sacral meaning. First of all, a craftswoman must have patience and love. She needs to adore her work and constantly think about the fact that every child is a treasure, someone's treasure, and the cradle for him should be comfortable, warm and cozy. That's all. The ceremony of laying a child in a cradle is a special celebration for every Kazakh family. Only women are invited to basic toy. Special gifts are prepared in the form of a traditional toy bastar, large bags and chests with gifts. The baby's grandmothers also prepare their presents called kalta. These are large rectangular shaped bags that are sewn by hand with national symbols.